The third part of our lecture talks about the different types of PE. This is the second part of energy. We learned that there are three different types of PE, gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, and electrical potential energy. Now we know that GP is given by MGH. It, it happens when there is a gravitational field acting on a certain mass. And the words that commonly appear for this question like this is mass height and g. Elastic potential energy is something that you have learned in forces, where EPE is equal to half kx squared. k is the spring constant of the force, and x is the expansion or compression of the spring. There's no field that acts on this energy, and the common words that usually appear before this comes out is a spring, mass, extension or compression. The third energy that we know of is electrical potential energy. Uh, we Here I do not include for you the equation because it is not within your syllabus. However, we need to know that the electrical potential energy affects or appears in a certain electrical field. Now, a charge, a positive charge or a negative charge in an electrical field will experience, will have uh, electrical potential energy. And the words that commonly appear will be charges, plates, and electric potential. So, why all these you know? Why all these uh, questions or introduction of energy, potential energy, and field? That's because, well, the two energies that we need to know. Gravitational potential energy and electrical potential energy exist in gravitational field and electric field respectively. What this means is that um, for gravitational potential energy, it must work on an object with a mass. The higher you bring a mass above the ground, the greater the gravitational potential energy of the mass. That's because above the ground, there is a certain gravitational field. The gravitational field acts on the mass. The further you bring the mass away from the ground, the more energy you give it because you are moving it in the opposite direction. Same thing, uh, same thing for electrical potential energy. That the closer you bring a positive charge to a positively charged plate, the greater the electric potential energy of the charge. Now look here. The closer you bring a positive charge to a positively charged plate object, the greater or the larger the E or the electrical potential energy of that charge. Now look at the words highlighted in yellow. If I were to change this word from closer to further, you have to change greater to lesser. The further two positive charges are, the less the electric potential energy of one of the charge in reference to it. Now, what this means also if you were to change the plate or object into a negatively charged plate or object, when you move a positively positive charge towards it, you are, you are essentially decreasing the electric potential energy of that charge. Now, the last thing that we need to know for energy is how to derive and apply gravitation no potential energy. Again, here we only derive it and we only learn how to apply it or revise how to apply it during our lesson on Monday. If we are to lift a certain block of force with a certain force F through a certain height and we want to lift it up without any gains in Ke the force must be equal to the mass. Without any gain in Ke, all the work done by this force goes into gravitational potential energy. And since we know that work done equals a force times distance, gravitational potential energy equals a force times distance. Now, we know that if there is, were to be no gain in Ke, the upward force must be equal to downward force, right? No change in velocity. This means that the minimum F required to lift up this mass is equal to its weight. 
where f equals to mg. We also know that the d is the distance or the height h as shown here in the diagram. What this means is that the gravitational potential energy of this block has changed after you have used a certain force to lift it up this certain height h by GPE equals to mgh. This is the equation that I'd like you to remember, and I'd like you to also remember how the derivation is done.